Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about my music and everything associated with my music and also I will be starting a new segment started um, on Fridays called Top 5 Jams or Top 5 Tracks, whatever you want to go with really. Um, it's just up to you. Um, it's just going to be my top 5 music um, songs for the week and hopefully you guys will check them out and have your own opinion and hope you guys will like this video and hopefully subscribe later on um, but let's go on with the video um, my music interests um, go along the lines of the electronic um, uh, genre I do like the indie electronic so you're looking at artists such as Flume, Wave Racer, LDRU, um, Yartzel, um, th their duo known as uh, Kameda, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. Um, things like that, I really do like that type of music, it kind of relaxes me, makes me feel peaceful and lets me just like calm down. Um, it's actually funny, I can fall asleep to like electronic music, people don't really understand this because they're thinking, whoa, electronic music, you're hearing all these beep 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 for me, it just sounds really nice, and I can fall asleep to it um, really easily. Um, but later on in the video, um, we'll be talking more about my music. For now, we'll be just moving on to some opinions about some things in the news. So, the popular meme, Grumpy Cat, has just been announced that he will be getting his new movie. Grumpy Cat's worst Christmas ever will be released later sometime in the year, hopefully. And the voice that will be playing at Grumpy Cat is Aubrey Plaza. This this is a weird thing because um, not many memes get such a fame like Grumpy Cat. I suppose Grumpy Cat is kind of a unique thing um, that we kind of see because it's just like a cat who's like... But um, Grumpy Cat has its own merch line. It has a book. It has a Facebook page and it was even featured on the New York magazine. Another major thing in the news at the moment, as you probably have been hearing, is that Scotland have um, just announced that they wanted a referendum. The referendum was to separate from England um, and be its own independent country. Now what's funny is that um, I saw a news article about it and I don't know if she mentioned it in a threatening way or whatnot, but the Queen was like, think carefully about the future. Now, I don't know if this was meant to be like, we're going to attack you or something like that, but I think they still have good relations, but um, see what happens. But um, today they went to the polls and it's come out that Scotland will not be separating from the UK, or should I say England, sorry. Um, unfortunately for the uh, Scottish people, it was a majority over. Um, I think it was something like 54% 54, 54 voted um, yes in keeping them together and it was something like uh, 46 point something um, voting we wanted to be separated. Unfortunately for um, Scotland, I'm sorry you will be staying against with England hof uh, hopefully until another four years or whenever it is until you can have another referendum if you decide to want to split again. Who knows, maybe you will split but not now for sure. Another thing that caught my eye was um, in the UK British teenagers are allowed to vote at the age of 16. This is kind of weird because I don't realize that um, 16 year olds, I don't know, we weren't mm, the maturest of people. We were pretty um, pretty out there and I don't know, I suppose there are some mature teens out there who actually um, actually like follow politics and everything, but I remember when I was 16, I was pretty much like a rare and tear and just muck around with kids, I would, I didn't really care about politics. Now that I have, now that I'm older, I'm 19, um, I kind of have an interest in them a little bit, like I follow them and it kind of interests me because it affects my life, but um, yeah, I don't know, maybe they should have a vote in England that... Um, that teenagers should be older to vote. Maybe that will, um, maybe that will up things, and maybe yeah, we'll see 
a change in votes later on. So um, that's all for the news section today. Um, my last point of interest is to start my new segment, Top 5 Jams of the Week. Um, top 5 Jams of the Week um, is just basically my five top jams that I um, listen to. Maybe you guys will like them. Um, I will leave all the songs and their links in the description. Um, so let's get stuck into it. Number five is Often by The Weeknd. It's a Kygo remix, and it is a beautiful remix of um, the Often by The Weeknd. I love this remix. Uh, Kygo is a 22-year-old producer from Norway. Um, he has um, gained his popularity through a remix he has done of I See Fire, which has accumulated over 40 million views on YouTube. Whoa, what the hell? Like, really, that would be such a good thing. Imagine waking up, checking your remix on YouTube, and then seeing that you got 38 million or 40 million views. Like, that's crazy. Like, yeah, I saw something like that. Like, PewDiePie, when he started his, like, on his first video overnight, he gained 49,000 subscribers. Like, who gains 49,000 subscribers overnight? Number four is by an Australian producer, nonetheless, um, by the name of Golden Features. He released his self-titled EP, Golden Features, and one of his songs on them was Guillotine. Guillotine is number four on my top five jams of this week. Uh, this c track is kind of unusual. I would probably genre it as alternative electronic. I really like it because it's kind of uh, melodic and it's kind of just like really chill out but then it has this kind of vibe to it that um, it's kind of like upbuilds you and it gets you moving and then it kind of just gets you swaying to like the drop and it just kind of wants you to like zone out and just like move with the music and make you feel with it um, I'm not high by the way guys it's just um, yeah but basically what I feel number three is by this new producer I found um, only a couple of days ago um, I really liked his music so I made contact with him and um, I suppose we kind of hit it off like um, he's a pretty cool guy and he makes awesome music he started giving me tips and everything because I do a little bit of music produ production um, and yeah he goes by the name as Dead As Disco uh, he's a 17 year old producer and he is from Brisbane Queensland um, he has only released I'm pretty sure um, previews of his Paradise EP and number three on my top five jams of this week is Idol. Idol is this preview he has put on his SoundCloud which is pure bliss and it's amazing. I do love this track so much and I can't wait till he finishes it. When he releases the EP I'll be one of the first people to buy it I'm sure because I love his music so much. Number two is of another local um, product producer duo um, they go by the name of Lolo BX and it is their bootleg their new bootleg of uh, Man of the Year by Schoolboy Q this uh, I would say as a trap bootleg um, it's kind of different but I really like it because it's upbeat um, it's got that trap feel to it um, and it's really beautiful if you don't know what trap music is maybe go on Google and d d type in define trap genre and then you get an idea of what it is um, it's kind of I don't know it's hard to describe once you hear a trap song um, then you kind of get the feel of what um, defines it as a trap song it's really hard to explain I, in my opinion but yeah I really do like this song and that's why it's my number two Number one of this week is by Disclosure, the one and only Disclosure, and it's Latch, and it's a Jay Kraken remix. Jay Kraken is a 22-year-old producer from California, and he creates his own kind of brand of house music. He hopes to get into the EDM scene really quickly, and by this new remix of Latch by Disclosure, I'm pretty sure he's already there. This guy has got so much talent behind him. He has got so much potential going for him. I hope he gets in, and I really hope to see him in the future playing festivals, um, coming over to Australia, um, doing concerts and everything, because I'll be sure to buy a ticket for him. He's definitely one of a kind, and I do love his music. 
Thanks guys for watching. If you did like this video, like down below and then be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks guys. Bye.